Best for soil. Soil health. Practical information. Hi, I'm Saskia. A healthy soil is good for the productivity and qualitative crops. We're here in Swifterband, where just the preparations are being taken to sow a green manure, one of the ways to make and keep a soil healthy. Soil health is the ability of the soil to cope with incoming diseases and pests and keep their population levels sufficiently low so that crops do not suffer damage. A healthy soil ecosystem contains a rich soil biodiversity, sufficient amounts of soil organic matter, microorganisms, nematodes, anthropods and earthworms. Key microorganisms are bacteria, fungi and protozoa. They are especially abundant in the area next to the plant roots, where they interact in numerous ways. Soil organic matter is the basis for productive soils. It allows for more activity and diversity of life in the soil, which in turn stimulates soil processes that contribute to healthy crops. Soil microbes stimulated by organic matter can suppress pathogenic microorganisms, liberate mineral nutrients, and improve the soil aggregate stability. The best practice to increase soil organic matter is by adding already stabilized organic matter, such as compost, to the soil. Many agricultural practices can help the soil ecosystem to function optimal and to build up soil health. The more practices are combined, the greater is the potential effect on soil health. Preventative practices such as cover crops promote beneficial soil life, which in turn contributes to healthy crops. Here we see a good example of a combination of two best practices, cover crops and anaerobic soil disinfestation, ASD. Cover crops such as Italian ryegrass can be incorporated into the soil for example, to build up soil organic matter and to improve the soil structure. When combined with anaerobic soil disinfestation, the soil environment is temporarily turned anaerobic. Certain microorganisms are stimulated to grow and under anaerobic conditions, they produce substances that are suppressive or toxic for several soil-borne pests and diseases. In this way, cover crops cycle nutrients and build up soil organic matter while the soil gets disinfected through the ASD practice. Solarization is a similar technique. In solarization, the soil is covered with a plastic film to trap solar radiation, heating the soil to a temperature that kills diseases and pests. In biosolarization, the speed of the process is increased by the incorporation of organic amendments or composts. By understanding the soil ecosystem and how practices above and below ground affect them, we can benefit from their functions to increase soil health.